I've met a lot of people growing up in New Jersey, but none more shocking than this man. All-American father of three, who makes a living discarding the bodies of mafia murder victims. The mob gave him the nickname, The Garbage Man. Come with me as I go inside the mind of a nigga that'll do anything for money. Can you tell me your name? Can't do that, sir. Okay. Why did you choose to uh, go into this profession? A lot of people have their hustles. Some people sell do-rags and bootleg DVDs. I just chop off bodies. I was surprised to find out that he did this dirty work while still holding down a day job at a local Home Depot. He said that while working in the garden department, he was approached by this man, reputed mobster Mario Gigliotti. He asked if he could get rid of some debris in his house. And when he got there, it was a different story. Went to his house, there was two dead bodies. Made me an offer the first time, I refused it. But offered me ten thousand dollars. I said, hey, that's a go. That's that's what motivated you. The ten thousand dollars. Yes. If it would have told me fifty or four hundred dollars like I was a crackhead, I would have refused it. He later confessed to hacking up over a hundred bodies and dumping them in New Jersey waterways. But that wasn't as shocking as this next confession. I have a body in my possession right now. In this house, the house that we're in, you have a body? Yes, sir. You want to see it? I became a little uneasy as he took me into a darkened basement. Watch steps, it's a little dark in here. Uh, this is where I do most of my work at, down in the basement. Here, I guess, just want you to stand behind here. So you can be in the next place. This is, this is where I do all my little work. It's a little small, but uh, a little tight. I like to work a little comfortable. I don't know if you want to tell if you're a jacket, but I know you're a little scared because you're not used to seeing things like this. But uh, I only have one set of gloves, this is how I work. I was working on a case early this morning before you came in, interrupt me. Well, you know what, uh, you could use, you want to help out a little bit. I would, I'm not touching that. Well, now if you want to uh, put your hand to see how I'm working. And just put your right hand, you know. Let me see it. The finger press it up from behind. Get you behind the scene. I was cutting up a few things before you came, you know. Oh my god! You know what? Ah! Let me hold that side up for a second. Hold that up. Put your hand in. Hold that up. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to cut this? I just want you to hold the bag open so I can be able to finish cutting. Call you right? You all right? Shit. Come on, watch it down. Bleach, nigga! It turned my stomach to watch what one human being would do to another just to earn a buck. When I asked him if he felt any remorse, he said no. Home Depot only paid me $10 an hour. Now I'm making 10 grand a week. You do the math. Later I watched him dump the bodies in the Raritan River like a piece of trash. Shit happens when you're living in Jersey.